the founder of Surfer. Uh, you guys might know this is one of the fastest growing SEO tools in the market. And uh, we are lucky enough to integrate with them. Uh, and a lot of people are using Surfer and Jasper to write growing really SEO high quality content in the market. And uh, uh, there's my replay on the other side. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so a lot of people are using this combo of Jasper and Surfer to write content, especially like blog articles really fast and then have them rank on Google to bring organic traffic to their business, more leads, more sales. You all know the gist. Um, and so today we're going to roll through how to use Surfer and then we'll use how to use Jasper. And then I'll show you like actually a real workflow to write a very high quality article in about an hour. Um, I'm not going to run through the whole hour of actually writing it, but you'll be able to walk away with these tips and tricks so that by the end of the day, if you really wanted to, you could go from blank page to published on your blog in about an hour and feel really confident that it will rank for the keywords that you're looking for. So, um, in the comments, let me know, uh, how'd you hear about this, uh, training today? Did you come from Jasper? Did you come from surfer? Uh, or did you come from somebody else that recommended you this training? And uh, by the way, Michael, why don't you tell me a little bit about Surfer, where you guys came from, and your story? Sure, sure. So uh, we are a company based in Poland. Uh, the whole team is there. Uh, and we are building this SEO tool. Uh, it is actually the agency turned SaaS product. So we had an issue in the agency that we struggled with getting competitive analysis of our competitors' content to get the best information about making decisions that will benefit SEO. This is simple. Solve your own problem and it will be just the best way to help other people. So it happened. And during the last four years, we've been building the product uh, and serving right now it's almost like 10,000 customers uh, using Surfer uh, every month. So uh, it's it's pretty big in the community already and I'm super proud of it. Um, so yeah, that's what we do. Yeah, your uh, growth is amazing this year. And I even see like a lot of Fortune 500 companies are using you, a lot of agencies and brands. Who would you say specifically is your, uh, is like the happiest customer segment? Mm. Well, uh, it's tricky, but anyone who publish content to the web is benefiting from using the tool. But uh, the fact that there's so many people publishing for the web and getting organic traffic, I would tell that the biggest opportunity is among sources because they have really well established domains quite often and they are strong brands and content marketing for SaaS is extremely beneficial. Imagine that uh, you are solving a problem like how to write content fast, such an article, right? And you have a solution how to write the content fast with Jasper. So someone comes in from organic looking for a specific solution of how to write content fast and finds it on a Jar Jasper's blog and then there is a solution. Okay, this is how I do it. So, all right, I've got the solution. I can just try it out and use and buy. So these kind of businesses who can turn easily the content marketing efforts into customers, it is really the best, uh, the most moment to invest in, in content really that is optimized for SEO as it is free traffic. I love it. Um, yeah, let me show you all. Uh, thank you all for joining today live. And if you're watching the replay, uh, let me show you on what we're going to roll through today. Um, in this 90 minute training, we're going to talk about how to find the best keyword opportunities. We're going to get really clear on your content strategy. We'll create outlines for you to build a high ranking uh, blog post. And then we'll switch over into Jasper. And we'll actually, now that we've done a lot of the research side and we understand how to write, how to be strategic, you know, here's where we actually get into printing words, generating paragraphs uh, really quickly and going from that blank page to first draft in about an hour. Uh, then we'll refine it even further. And if you have existing content that you want to refresh, let's say you published it in the past and you want to now optimize it, you want to lengthen it, 
or you want to update it for the current you know, state of the world, uh, you can do that here within Jasper. And then um, one thing I was going to do is bring on three customers, uh, but I'm finding that it's just taking a really long time to upload those short videos even. So what I will be doing, if you're watching uh, this replay, I'll pin them to the end of this recording. Uh, but if you're watching this live with us, then I will just include those customer interviews on exactly their real workflow on how they go from, um, you know, nothing with just starting with uh, an idea to this whole process here, the workflow and getting it to a final product where this, the surfer score is 72 or higher, uh, really uh, giving you confidence for first page rankings. Um, and then some of the ticks, tricks and tips to write quality content with Jasper, making sure it's grammatically correct, plagiarism free and original content. So, um, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun uh, and stick around uh, throughout this um, to to learn the ultimate workflow. Uh, I think that this is something that's been revised uh, many times over the course of the year. Uh, we launched this integration with Surfer about a year ago, um, and now there's roughly, I mean, from what I can see, around three to four thousand people um, using this combination. Uh, and so it's been time tested. And at this point, we're finding the community has surfaced a lot of really cool ways to use this integration. Um, and a couple segments that you might, you know, raise your hand and like, this is really for me. If you are a freelance writer or solopreneur that you're trying to manage a lot of content marketing at once, whether that's social media content, it's writing copy for your blog or your website, like headlines and plot descriptions, or you're trying to really do SEO optimized content at scale. Um, and so I found those segments uh, really get a lot of value out of this workflow. Um, in fact, the customer interviews that I'll be appending at the end, we have um, one guy who at his job, he had a law firm, uh, he is the content marketer and SEO guy bringing leads in. He uses this combo to rank his law firm, uh, to dominate page one, to outrank all of his competitors, and then bring those leads into his site. He also on the side has a consulting agency, uh, and he's able to double the volume of clients because of this combo. The amount of time savings that he's uh, been able to save has literally doubled his business. And over the last year uh, is now making twice as much. Guess what happened? He was able to have his wife quit her full-time job and be a full-time stay-at-home mom. And so it's really cool to just see like changing awesome. people's lives. Yeah, literally changing people's lives. Imagine what you could do if you could crank out content five times faster using these two AIs working in combination with each other. The same also, happened to us, you know, uh, yeah. in the agency when we introduced Surfer as a product to the agency that I was working for. We were like, God dang, we can take on more clients uh, because now we have capacity without extra hired people. Uh, so it was really a game changer for the agency's growth as it is really hard to hire onboard trained new people to do SEO. And when your existing team can handle twice as many clients, it is just, uh, you know, it's a win win situation for everyone. Absolutely. You know, it also reminds me of another story that I'll append to the end about a, um, a guy who was really unfulfilled with his job and he always wanted to be a digital nomad blogger uh, where he would build affiliate income, paying him from reviewing, blog, uh, reviewing products on his blog. And using this combination, he figured out one, what are the uh, products that, you know, pay the most and then how to rank for those keywords on Google, when people type in like, you know, best VPN, he can rank number oh one. Oh my God, this is super hard. Keyword. Yeah, <laughs> you know, things like that. But he'll he'll use Surfer to figure out, you know, what is that? And then he'll review that product and then get paid affiliate commissions. Uh, he writes the blog post with Jasper. Uh, and now he was able to quit his full-time job, go f all in on being a digital nomad. He was uh, FaceTiming me from another city. Um, and is now generating a passive income stream through his blog using this workflow. So there's a lot of different people using this. And I, th I think it's uh, it's really cool to see people, you know, 
step outside of their comfort zone, learn these new modern tool stack uh, to to really grow their business. And um, it, it's great if you're a freelancer, if you're employed somewhere, or if you're uh, you know running an agency. And so the third story I bring in is uh, actually from our own team, Megan. You guys might chat with her sometime in customer success. So she writes blog posts for uh, the Jasper clients. We only take on a, a couple a month, uh, but we want to eat our own dog food, right? And so uh, Megan will take on a client and write two to 3,000 word articles with Jasper, uh, but using the insights from Surfer to help write these articles. And we're charging uh, roughly like $400 per article, it takes about one hour of work, and we're doing that at scale. Uh, and now that's bringing in a pretty massive uh, income stream uh, where now we've hired a bunch of uh, students from the University of Texas uh, that are writing blog posts at scale using this combo to create a business. And we did this in about a month and a half. So if you're trying to get inspired today on what are all the opportunities that you can use this text stacks for there's there's the, the the stories are limitless your imagination when you see what's possible here today uh you can go off and create some amazing businesses for yourself absolutely i mean uh i will be showing you uh the content strategy in a few moments and this content strategy can be really overwhelming at the very beginning when someone is starting a new website and they see like oh god i need 100 articles but with with this combination with jasper and surfer not only these 100 articles can be seo optimized but they can be written really fast and it's not not a, a like a sisyphian job anymore you see the end and it is pretty close actually which is really amazing uh, about about the whole story so uh, I don't know. Are we getting started? I'm really, yeah, we're, we're ready to get started now. Why don't you go ahead and share your screen and uh, walk us through how Surfer works? Absolutely. Why do you do that? Um, by the way, everyone, we have gotten a deal here with Surfer where we're going to go ahead and pay for most of your first month. So you get it for just one dollar. The the basic version of surfer test it out for yourself you can follow along with us here at jasper.ai slash surfer deal um and michael i'm gonna go ahead and highlight your screen absolutely okay uh, i guess you see my screen already and i will keep it i will keep it guys really simple because surfer it is a complex tool uh, it is it can be considered as the all-in-one tool as your tool for experts and many other but we will today we will focus on creating content strategy really fast and executing it really fast by creating guidelines out of each content idea and i will also show you how to optimize these articles and that's it i will skip all of these uh deep dives into the correlations data uh all of the information that really advanced seos can dive into so we focus on content creating strategy content at scale and that's all you need to build a successful blog from the ground up uh, with this combination of jasper and surfer so this is what you see when you when you log into surfer uh, basically we've got a bunch of tools uh, that you will see on the left hand side and the tools that you want to focus on is actually are two tools the content editor and the content planner so in the content planner you will start mapping your pages to rank for the tough keywords you will find the whole content strategy for the niche to start right ranking to start uh, becoming an expert in the industry and we've got like two lessons a lesson one which is find the best keyword opportunities and lesson two get clear on your content strategy i would love to start with the lesson two actually because getting clear on the strategy uh, is more like an introduction to what the hell a content strategy is and what does it mean for google so um, the content strategy has one goal and this goal 
is to build topical authority for your website to become an expert and trustworthy source of information about certain topic. You don't need anything else. It is not about a content schedule. It is not about um, content repurposing. It is not about um, PR. It is also not about content distribution. It is all about one thing, which topics have to be covered within my blog about SEO. So Google thinks I am really a blog about SEO and I know the drill. So getting clear on the content strategy and outranking competitors in Google is really about building a strong foundation for your website so you really become considered as one of the best experts in the industry about the topic and why is it so important um the number one thing that makes uh, this content strategy really important is to go niche is to be an expert about the something specific because if you want to create a blog about sports well, it will take you thousands of categories and each of category will have hundreds of articles required to become an expert. But if you niche down and let's say you will take the backcountry skiing, you will only have a bunch of topics to cover that you can build authority relatively fast and get noticed as an expert relatively quick. So. If you want to grow a blog about sports, grow niche by niche. Execute strategy to take over specific area of the topic, then move to the next topic, to the next topic, to the next topic, but only after the previous one is completed. It will give you um, a lot of trust and you'll be able to rank for these keywords much quicker than doing chaotic moves in sports like Olympics, NFL, I don't know, basketball, whatever. It, it won't make uh, a, a friction of a chance to rank in Google on these keywords. Niche down, be specific, and you will get there with your content strategy that is clear, that has a clear goal. I want to rank... In the end, I want to rank for a keyword and look at my screen now. Actually, you 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 look at it all the time. <laughs> uh, this introduction could be more like a camera uh, in front instead of a screen. But yeah, uh, you were studying for the screen long enough. So you see it is how to drain gutters. And what does it mean to be an expert on draining gutters? You've got a bunch of topics to cover, and this is the clear strategy on how to get to becoming an expert on how to drain gutters. You've got the article about gutter drainage ideas here. You got another idea, French drain gutters, underground drain, how to drain gutters away from house, patching gutters downspouts, whatever it is, uh, dry, dry well installation, commercial rain gutters, extended, uh, how does pop-up drain work? So we've got many, many informational articles, ideas about specific topics you need to cover to become the gutter drainage expert. And you can imagine such a situation that someone has a service. Let's say you are a business owner and you clean, you drain gutters or you install gutters. And someone told you that the content marketing is a thing. And you think like, what can I write about to make my website even more about gutters than it is right now? And there you go. Uh, you solve people's problems. You help them understand the different types of, of gutters, the, the ways of draining them, and so on and so forth. Uh, you build your position in Google 
because you you build the topical authority you fulfill these elements that are required to be ranking really on the topic and even though there is really a friction of a chance that someone from your city will search for the fresh french drain gutters it doesn't mean it's not worth it it's worth it because google will see you as an expert and um, having those informational articles that are searched like countrywide strengthen your local city pages where you have these services uh, so even someone who who really is a is a is a gutters installator can make benefits from the combination of a clear content strategy with a combination of jasper and server so uh, they can write it really fast so finding the best keywords opportunities i think it's time to move to this topic uh, as we have the well we now know why are we creating the content strategy we know how to create the content strategy so well do we sop sop time content planner in the menu the keyword is selected the country is selected and the main focus keyword the target keyword should be put here this tool is unlimited use so you can play with it as long as you want and if you put a keyword that is informational, like how to drain gutters, you can expect results that will be like a problem solving type of articles. If you will type gutters in here, actually we can try it. It will be more commercial. It will be more about uh, gutters and rooftops and maybe chimneys and maybe ventilation, HVAC, whatever kind of, you know, is around the house. Um, so, uh, and these will be more commercial, more uh, e-commerce websites will show up. So if you want to create a content strategy for the blog, put a topic in the content planner that is also the same type. So how to drain gutters is really a good idea in this case. But let's try to execute that strategy. We've got a keyword, how to learn SEO. And this is the perfect, this is the perfect topic for Surfer SEO blog, of course. Uh, because we want many people to learn SEO, to learn our tools and get results as soon as possible. So we need such a cluster. Um, and finding the best keyword opportunities is really important uh, based on the difficulty of each topic. And you can find out about the difficulty by reviewing these groups of keywords. It says KD seven so keyword difficulty is seven out of ten or you can sort by the difficulty from low to high and this way you will spot the easiest topics for your blog posts and the difficulty is five six 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 well these are relatively high difficulty uh clusters and by clusters i mean groups of keywords that you will rank together because basically domains that are ranking for of all of these seo related terms are also pretty strong let's take a look at this uh draining gutters maybe here we will have something easier curious here what is the sweet spot for uh keyword difficulty score what do you look for um for the know, easiest on the first page yeah i always look for the easiest um because the, the easier uh, the difficulty, the smaller the difficulty, uh, the higher chance you can rank for it with weaker domain because we, we all start uh, at some point and we have zero authority. And here comes another, well, this is, this is a, li a little bit of a complex uh, thing, but let me shed some light on it. Uh, does it mean 
that when I have a new website, I have to skip all of the difficult keywords? No, because you need to show Google that uh, you are about this particular niche. Imagine this VPN thing. Uh, if your friend was afraid of tackling hard keywords, he would start only with like super long tile. What's the best VPN that works on my iPhone when I'm in Ecuador, right? And it will be easy to rank for such a keyword, but well, it has zero search volume. It's really small. And it is really a good idea to have these hard keywords pages on your website just to build the topical authority and not not waiting for like a huge amount of traffic right away on these it will come it will come when you build enough topical authority utilizing all of the suggestions and interlinking between those uh, articles so the time will come and you should definitely cover hard keywords and easy keywords but the results will come quicker on the easy keywords. So that that's pretty obvious. Does it does it does it help? Yeah, yeah, brilliant. Thank you for uh, shedding light on that. And when you look at this content planning summary uh, and these topic uh, clusters here, are you looking at only writing like long form blog posts, or are these also to influence the copywriting on your marketing site uh, in product descriptions and headlines and things like that? Um, so uh, I can tell you that all of these clusters are labeled. Uh, they are labeled by the user intent that is behind of the majority of the pages that rank for these. And we've got like four basic intents, the local, the customer investigation, that is the affiliate intent. Then we've got informational that will be mostly the blog posts. And we also have a shopping. And as you can see, the, the the group of keywords about drain tile or about half round gutters copper, these are ranked by e-commerce. These are ranked by either products or categories. So you also want to create product or category instead of a blog post about the half round gutter made of, out of copper. So, um, this will, this will influence the type of page you are going to create to rank for these keywords. Because if Google prefers e-commerce kind of like product or category, you won't be able to rank or chances are small to rank with an article for such a keyword, for such a group of keywords. So just pay attention to it. And actually, in terms of content strategy, let me show you something real quick. Um, I will show you the difference between two different uh, intents that you start with. Because we've got like, we can use the red dress, okay? Or we can use how to wear a red dress. And when it comes to this one, how to wear a red dress, we will get 86 clusters, which are 86 articles, ideas, and the majority of them, the most of them, are informational intent, 64 out of 86. It is huge amount. So when we start with informational type of keyword, we receive informational type of recommendations, informational type of 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 uh, keywords, so you create articles out of them. So these are ideas for the blog. And what happens when you put something general like a red dress? So uh, even though you can be a blogger and blogging about clothing and blogging about red dresses because you love red dresses, if you put the red dress keyword into the content planner you won't receive a strategy for a blog. You will receive a strategy for e-commerce because it is dominated by e-commerce type results, products or categories, not blogs. So going uh, really um, 
broad on the topic is not the best idea if you are not aware of the user intent. Um, if, if that was, let's say, marketing automation or, um, I don't know, email marketing kind of a little bit information, a little bit service keyword, uh, you can get uh, decent results. Uh, but it is always a good idea to direct a uh, surfer uh, into, into the intent you want to write for. So how to do email marketing? What is marketing automation? It will bring topics that are much more related to the, to the blog, to the articles that we are built with Jasper and Surfer instead of kind of service pages, uh, MailChimp, uh, landing pages or whatever. So um, let's, let's, let's dive into this. Hmm. So we got the difficulty done. We've got uh, the plan. And now it's time to execute that plan. Where to scale? We're on lesson three, creating article outlines built for high rankings. Mm -hmm. Okay, sweet. Um, if you guys have any questions about the first two sections here, where we find the best keyword opportunities or um, how to get really clear on your content uh, strategy, uh, let us know in the comments and uh, I'll go ahead and be fielding those as Michael goes on to lesson three, creating article outlines built for high rankings. Yes. Uh, one sec, I will just show you. I was right about the gutters. So it is more commercial and most of the intents here are sh shopping 24, but we also have some informational about cleaning, about how to get something, blah, blah, blah. So uh, yeah, the results depends on the seed keyword and play with it because it is unlimited. So uh, actually this is pretty good topic. Uh, so let's follow it. Uh, imagine that we want actually a blog about gutters because it's a DIY blog. It is like a home improvement blog. So what do we do? Uh, what's the process? So we start with uh, the filter and we select the informational filter. Then we sort by the difficulty from low to high. And we've got seamless gutters, the easiest one, difficulty five. And the total search volume of all of these keywords is over 1,000. So it is actually a great candidate uh, to create a content and uh, start building the topical authority with it. Um, and we have 23 articles ideas in this uh, section. So it's fairly easy to execute it with combination of Surfer and Jasper. So let's create an article outline that is built for high rankings. Uh, so I will just trigger the analysis. Yeah, one article. question here where I think it's relevant to where we're at on the screen. Um, is each cluster that we see here for one blog post? This is super relevant question. And thank you for that. Yes, every single tile is one article. And why is that? Why, why are we like presenting more keywords here? Uh, maybe you can think that, well, uh, I feel like I should split these uh, keywords into two articles. You shouldn't. Why you shouldn't? Surfer is using machine learning algorithms to cluster these keywords together based on how Google prefers these keywords to be answered. So we analyze a lot of SERPs, we analyze a lot of pages, we analyze what do they rank for, what do they have in common, and these massive machine learning algorithms compare them, find patterns and tell you which keywords you should rank together and which keywords you should rank on a separate pages. So as, as we discussed, one title means one article that will rank for all of these keywords that you see here and probably many more. This is just the core of the keywords you will rank for by writing an article using the guidelines we've just created. So let's talk about these guidelines, about the 
about the uh, the the outline for creating higher ranking article. So we need to open the content editor because as you as you as you uh, as I told you at the very beginning, we've got two tools that we focus on today. We've got the content planner that is lesson one and two, so this clear strategy and best ranking opportunities, and lesson three, which is the outline. Uh, so we know how long the article should be, how many headings, how many paragraphs and images, and what are the words and phrases that Google considers important to actually uh, provide the best answer for the uh, for the specific search term or actually group of search terms we are targeting. So we are targeting six search terms. What is a seamless gutters? How are they made? On-site seamless gutters, seamless gutter truck, why to use them and so on. So uh, as you can see, there's uh, like a variety of topics to cover, like why to use them, how they are made, how to install on-site installation. So. Uh, we will have a complete set of information for a person who is considering a seamless gutter system for his home. So uh, let's get to, maybe not to writing yet, but to explaining you what you see on the screen. So if you hover these, you see that uh, was the range of words, headings, paragraphs, and images. You've got the score right here that indicates how well are you doing with your content. And if we start like, what is see, what is seamless gutters, we can even add the cost. Uh, we already have H1 and we've got some points in a content score. The content score will grow as you use these terms in your article, as you meet the length requirements, the headings requirements, the paragraphs, images, and so on. Um, and uh, this right-hand side screen is available in Jasper uh, with just a few clicks. It's a few clicks away and you can have it inside. Um, and what else do we have here is that you can group these keywords within uh, like we group them automatically within some clusters so uh, we will we, we tell you that you need to write about the gutters about the seamless stuff that there is a system about the installation and aluminum and the site and the cost so uh, if you click on the seamless you will got get all of the keywords that are um, that include the seamless word inside. So you know that, okay, what is it? Installation, contractors, uh, installing, aluminum, uh, offers, outweight, and so on. So uh, requirements uh, and many more. So this way you can understand how you should write about the topic uh, that the gutters is the most focused word than the seamless than the system. Um, if you don't know what something is, let's say vinyl gutters, you click on the term and you receive content from your competitor to get the information about the context of how the term was used. This is really helpful if you want to understand what something is, because we've got the vinyl gutters, we've got the copper gutters, we've got the aluminum gutters. Uh, so we've got at least three materials. And I can imagine already a great heading that would be, for example, what seamless gutters are made of. And then H3. Alu, aluminum gutters, uh, another H3, copper gutters, and another H3, steel sectional gutters. So uh, I've, I've already targeted a few keywords and uh, my score is already 35, 32. So it, it goes really quick if you know what to write about, if you know what is required to cover the, cover the topic fully. 
And uh, besides of the in score indicator and structure and the words that has to be used that have to be used within the article, we will give you also some AI generated content before the Jasper actually starts writing, so you can build on top of that real quick. So we've analyzed competitors here, and you can browse through these. You can build the content relatively fast with some uh, like generated sections, and then you can ask Jasper within his interface to make it sound like you, to make it sound great, to in make it uh, in a uh, to extend it because we just created 400 words while we need four times more. So uh, with this uh, initial input to Jasper, creating like grammatically correct and SEO optimized article is really an easy job, especially on the topics that are not like kind of surgery complexity topics. Uh, if these are like you know, uh, common knowledge, let's say, not like extremely niche uh, or, or, or dangerous kind of information, uh, you will be able to create great articles really fast in such a combination using these guidelines, initial outputs, and then extension in Jarvis interface that I wanted to uh, look at right now brilliant and the people in the comments are uh, are loving it they're they're in awe can you show us how you're using the headlines uh, headings and nlp here um in the tabs oh uh, yes so uh we will list a few of uh well okay let me start from the ground up uh the the all tab is basically all the words and phrases that you have to have um the heading tab will list most important keywords that you should consider to be used in headings. So what are we missing? The seamless gutter. Uh, so we can, for example, add uh, a, a heading. Uh, is seamless gutter better than, I don't know, something else? And another one can be what is the best gutter system for my home. And boom, we've got them all checked. Um, the NLP. Uh, yeah, I'm really sorry about the interface that confuses you. It confuses uh, me as well. Uh, so there is no difference between all and the NLP. Like you can you can consider all as like everything and the NLP as the NLP entities. But within the all, there are 78 NLP entities. So, uh, well, this is redundant. Really, you, you, you don't have to look at this tab because like 95% of these tabs content is actually here in the all. So uh, yeah, uh, sorry for confusion. Uh, I have to change it as soon as all I good. can. All good. And um, I just want to hear address a couple comments uh, real quick. So at this point in the training, we have gone through uh, how to do keyword research planning. And in the clusters, you can even see in sort by uh, the difficulty rating. And Michael was suggesting that it's good to also try and write blog posts and rank for really hard keywords, even if you know you won't rank right away, because it gives you authority on the topic. And eventually that will carry on, that authority will carry on to helping other easier to rank for articles to begin ranking. So, you know, make sure you get your bases. Uh, something that Brandon brought up here, um, and I want to get your confirmation on this, Michael. Uh, he says, so a good content strategy might be start with informational blogs, then investigational blogs, and then shopping blogs. Where would local blogs fit in for national brands? Uh, how would you respond to that? Thank you for that question. Uh, so um, there's not, well, the intent of these keywords, um, they are not uh, corresponding to the blog type. 
they are uh, they are about the search results pages type and imagine we have four pages type the first type is an informational and it is like how to tie a tie article then we will have customer investigation which is what is the best tie so someone is really into buying a tie and looking for the best tie best tie for the prom right this is customer investigation yet the shopping is something different it is not a blog it is product page or category page and we will use that label on the clusters that are dominated not by, not by the blogs but by product pages or category pages imagine a keyword like nike air max what will show up like the stores uh, selling shoes and their product pages or category pages not the blogs like is it nike air max better than adidas predator or whatever right uh, it's it's not about that it is about the type of the page that ranks and when it comes to the local it is more about uh, the services or the locations uh, kind of pages so let's say uh, gutters installator london it will be local so you will have to create a page that um, targets uh, like a local audience looking for the gutters cleaner gutter, gutters installator so um yeah this is how it works really uh, and i hope that uh, it answers your question so it's not all about blogs and the next one does the content planner work well when we want to write a best of post such a of course so um let's see if i have any i i would love to get oh yeah thank you uh let's see best do i have anything best climbing rope so uh, if you want to run you can consider it this way let's let's actually read the the subheading map supportive pages that will help you rank for difficult keywords and if the best climbing rope is a difficult keyword you need to build authority around climbing um, gear so you will be able to rank for the climbing rope so to be an expert and rank for the best climbing rope you need to review rope bags quick draws um, rope thicknesses this is informational take a look I'm, I'm i'm zooming in informational climbing rope thickness so you won't sell ropes on this page but you will build authority to rank for best rope for climbing because well here are the best ropes for climbing if you need 200 meters you need the thick rope and if you need the 10 meters you need you, you can you can use this like uh really you know uh lightweight rope but what are the rope thicknesses there you go you link to your article about rope thicknesses and uh this is how it works in seo you connect the information that belongs to well that 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 now follows up um so uh yeah you just need to cover like helmets shoes gifts for the climbers anchors and well quite a lot of other uh topics and then you can build authority and rank for the best climbing rope uh brilliant thanks for clearing that up and uh we have a few questions here about uh interlinking articles and like internal link structure uh mm -hmm. i'll highlight this one here um so michelle asks how do we plan our interlinking article structure with this tool mm, i wish i had such a feature that will lie out the whole structure but i can show you actually well the audit feature is something that will help you a little bit with internal linking and i've got um, one of the server seo articles about machine learning seo analyzed here and it has a section that show, shows internal links opportunities and within that feature we will tell you what are the urls on your website that should be linking to this analyzed article to strengthen it 
So uh, you can go URL by URL in the audit to find the best internal linking opportunities to get a boost for this URL. But when it comes to creating a content, I mean, internal linking, excuse me, strategy, you have to um, connect all of these uh, pages that um, are created based on the planner into sort of a category or a circle uh, that will link to each other when it is relevant. Uh, and this way, you will be able to uh, create internal linking strategies. Make sure to use exact matching keywords as internal link anchors. Never link using keywords like read more, check it out, do whatever, because Google has zero context. It can read within Anchor. I am not sure if it can ring, read what's outside the Anchor to build uh, the context and then decide what does it mean to read more. The read more is used like gazillion times on the website and it websites and it has zero context. So if you are linking from gutter drip edge installation to what is seamless gutter use keywords that the page is ranking for so anchors pointing to this url should be what is seamless gutters how are seamless gutters made on site seamless gutters and so on these are anchors used as internal links pointing to this page. This is important. If you point an internal link to this page, you use these keywords as anchors, these keywords. Uh, if you are linking out of this page, you never use these keywords and anchors because what will happen? Google will think that seamless uh, why seamless gutters is somewhere else, not here, because you are linking out using this keyword as an anchor. So always think like uh, what's on the other end of the internal link and use the keyword that this page you are linking to, you want to rank it for. And that's it. That's the number one rule on internal linking. Brilliant. It kind of reminds me, I like to think in metaphors. So you want them to have completed their information journey on your article, on your page. They figured it out. If they have to continue searching and you know, following through articles, uh, you know, then they still have are, are lost on their way. And Google, you know, reads it that way. So, yeah. um, you know, maybe the only time that you would link out would be product names. Is that how you would do it? Like, if you were, if you had an informational post about best of then you would highlight the product names in the listicle? Uh, yes, but not only this way. I would also link to different blogs uh, that are extensions of the topic. Uh, so imagine that we are uh, writing about these uh, climbing ropes. Where are they? That was really a good topic. Um, oh, God, I don't know. Where is it? So. Uh, if I have a best climbing ropes article and I also have a best uh, ropes bags, it is really a good idea to link from climbing ropes to ropes bags because you have to store these ropes somewhere and this bag will fit this rope or vice versa. And this is just a great connection between two articles on similar topics to join them into uh, something bigger, into a category about ropes maintenance or something like that brilliant it makes a lot of sense thanks for clearing that up um all right well is there anything else that you would like to share on creating article outlines um within the surfer editor maybe one last thing uh, real quick uh because the outline oh sorry uh the editor um the outline says between 1,620 and 1,863 words on the page. And these 
recommendations are calculated for this target length. So if you decide to stop halfway and you tick these keywords green, it will mean that you have not enough content. So your density, your keywords density is too high and how to prevent it. If you decide to finish earlier than the suggested length, make sure to click on this icon here and content structure and change the length to the desired length you are going to create the content. You can make the content shorter. It will also rank a little bit harder, but it will. But the most importantly, it will change the ranges of use, the suggested ranges of use for these keywords. So seamless gutter now is it is within the green because the range is between four and six and I have it four times. Take a look when I go back to the, to the content structure and I will restore the original setting so the length is double. The seamless gutter is not within the green anymore and it should be used between seven and 11 times. So take into consideration, if you are not going to meet the requirements in the range, adjust the guidelines, please. And that's it. That's all I wanted to show. Fantastic. Thanks so much for uh, showing us that. Um, now for the rest of this training for the next maybe 20 minutes, we'll show how Jasper can write the content for you much faster. Of course, the old way is that you would go and, you know, do all this keyword planning and then uh, write from scratch by yourself. But, you know, now that we have AI uh, that is trained on writing really high quality content with a tone of voice, it's keyword optimized, um, you can move roughly two to five times faster. Um, and so really the goal here is to get your first draft done so that way you can go back and then edit, edit it, revise it at your own tone of voice, your own credibility, your anecdotes, things like that. Um, and really this tool is mostly used for writer's block. You know, if you haven't had your coffee yet and you are just looking to get going uh, and a, have a direction, that's when you would use this tool most. Um, and so we'll roll in. I'll be managing the comments as well. So definitely throwing on my multitasking hat here. Um, but uh, Michael, I would like if you could stick around and as I showcase how to use the tools in combination, if you know any extra tricks uh, and tips here, uh, hop on in, just uh, Absolutely. maybe in private chat, you can, uh, you, you can flag me. Cool. Sure. All right, well, uh, let me go ahead and hop on in. And I think a lot of people on this call probably are have Jasper, so I don't need to share too much, but maybe you're on a starter plan and you know you have access to all of the templates. There's about 50 different templates here that we have trained Jasper on, uh, on very specific use cases. So, uh, you know, we're, uh, the background of our company is, you know, we're uh, back in the day, marketing agency owners, uh, then we uh, created multiple courses that have trained thousands of people. And now we're building software based on our experience. We've trained now this AI on how to write great ad copy. And so this is kind of how we started just to give you context of the company. Uh, now the AI itself has read 10% uh, of the internet, most of the public internet actually in 2019. Um, and that's when we started training it on how to use specific examples like Facebook ads. So here uh, it's doing the, bulls, the, the voice of Hulk Hogan to write an ad for this gym called Crunch Fitness. And it's kind of funny. It's nailing, you know, Hulk Hogan. Can you just imagine him yelling, I am the champion of the world? One of his taglines, right? Um, you're going to have the summer body you love. So obviously this isn't why you're here today, but you can get how we went from writing Facebook ads to then, you know, more defined uh, sections such as blog post outlines. And so here's like, why to buy athletic greens, the best nutrition supplement. Here's my be, uh, an article outline. Athletic greens is the best supplement, uh, how to do this. Or we could say, uh, you know, maybe a listicle like, you know, top, 
uh, supplements for athletes. And tone of voice here, I want you to think that you're just talking to your assistant. Jasper is very knowledgeable, uh, but what it's most knowledgeable about is not just the information it's right on the internet, but more about the context. You can talk to it like a human. So you can say, hey, write this in a tone of voice that's educational and excited. Or you could do, as I just said, uh, hey, I want you to mimic Hulk Hogan as you write this. All right, so here are different supplements you can, uh, as like an article outline. So this is what you could do in combination with uh, Surfer, where you use these different tools. Uh, and the better that you write, if you have a really clear idea of what you want the blog post title to be, and you got that, for example, from Surfer, you could throw that in here and have a better output. Uh, giving Jasper better context as a boss you want to give your assistant better directions. The better directions you give your assistant, the better job that they'll do. All right. And so uh, here, as we get more specific, these become better. You want to direct Jasper in the right direction. All right. So now, for example, uh, this is just 29 bucks a month and you get all 50 of these templates. And there's all these different categories from e-commerce to, you know, if you're writing Amazon product listings or your website copy uh, or for your blog, then you would just need this starter plan. But if you wanted to upgrade to boss mode, that gets you long form documents that are a little bit more free form. You know, you can talk directly with Jasper, command it to write whatever you want without following our examples that we fed it, without following our directions. And if you go into the settings here, you can then toggle on Surfer SEO mode and uh, that's where you can get the deal as well. So when you toggle that on and you already have your Surfer account, you can just hop in here to Documents. Let me start from scratch so you can see it. And I'm going to follow the blog post uh, kind of workflow here uh, just to get the ball rolling. And uh, my girlfriend right now is starting a matcha brand. So uh, shout out to her. I'm going to create a little matcha blog post. Um, you know, matcha is the healthy alternative to coffee. Um, and we can talk about, actually, let's just start well, there. Come and, on, come on. Coffee is healthy. You can drink uh, more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, we can say, you know, uh, it it is less acidic. Oh, much better. <laughs> and uh, has more anti oxidants than coffee. All right. And so here we are. Um, and the keywords I maybe want to rank for, and we could go and reference Surfer uh, for these keywords if we were doing uh, keyword research before building our blog post. Matcha and then maybe coffee alternatives. All right. Here I'll continue. And, and that gave Jasper a reference for, hey, let's go ahead and get started here. Here's the background. Um, I'm feeling a little lazy right now. So let's go ahead and generate some headlines. Uh, and if we want to start from scratch, you know, we have maybe uh, a very specific headline that is on our content roadmap, then we could start there. But here are some um, persuasive headlines that we've taught Jasper. This is what's going to get clicks, kind of like clickbaity headlines, but also relevant to the keywords and the topic that you've given it. Um, a healthy alternative to coffee is matcha. The 10 benefits of matcha, a healthy coffee. That's a pretty good one. I like this. Um, cool. All right. And then for the intro paragraph, this is really important because you want to hook the reader. Uh, maybe this is what's crawled by Google to uh, reference as your meta description if you don't have one already written. Um, maybe this is your social media caption uh, uh, before you go and post it. Uh, you'll write this. And so we're just going to generate some ideas. Of course, you could write your own. All right, so here's a few that we can choose from. Do you love coffee but hate the acidity and the jitters? Matcha may be the perfect alternative for you. Matcha is a type of green tea that is made up from ground tea leaves and has a smooth, mellow flavor. Great. This is crushing it. Guys, you see how much faster this is? And now we're into the document editor. I want you to kind of imagine that this is like Google Docs. If you had 
uh, a companion in there that is riding alongside with you. So, you know, sometimes it can kind of feel lonely to write as a solopreneur or as a content writer and you're just in a coffee shop alone. Uh, now you have somebody alongside you. I also like to build this here as we go along. So I'm going to build out my headlines, you know, and all of those different uh, templates that I had mentioned earlier, they're right here in Power Editor. So uh, often what I like to do is here use the AIDA framework. It is a, um, an old school marketing framework that has standed the test of time. It stands for attention, interest, desire, and then action. It really pulls in a reader. Um, and so what we can do is put in the blog post and put this here. And uh, maybe I'm going for a luxury audience. Uh, I can ask it to have that tone of voice. And what we're going to do is write a kind of framework here to sell people on matcha. And this is great for ad creative, for email marketing campaigns, but uh, I love to do it as also a, a way to jumpstart ideas for the direction I'll take this blog article. All right. You can enjoy all the benefits of matcha without sacrificing taste, you know, and then you can click on the ad. All right, great. So here's how we could take these, copy it, and push it over here. All right, so we're just starting to build out the tone, the background, why matcha, who is this for? But often in a blog article, blog article it's not time to like call to action. So I know delete that. Um, you know, in this article, maybe I'll do like in this article, there are some other healthy benefits of matcha. Let's go ahead and cover them. All right. And that's when we could hop over into the outline. And there's many directions here, but I like that this is a 10 benefits of matcha, the healthy coffee alternative. Jasper's really good at picking up um, patterns. And so if you go 10, for example, here, it's going to likely write it out as a listicle. Um, and so we'll go like this and check this out. So here it is, matcha type of green tea, comes from Japan. So maybe a little background before we go into matcha. Uh, you know, in ceremonies, and we'll start talking about the benefits, the nutrients and all of that. Now it's following patterns, right? So what I'm going to do here is ask Jarvis, Hey, go ahead and compose more like this, follow the pattern and keep writing. All right. So here we are. Matcha has many health benefits, boosting energy, metabolic weight loss, and all of this. All right. So that's how much faster we can go. Maybe I want to make these our H2s. All right. Let me just roll a little bit faster for you. See here, we're building out the structure of our article before we have Jasper go and fill in the details. All right. So maybe here, I want to put that into its benefits. All right. And so uh, now at this point, you all are able to see the basic idea of how Jasper writes. Uh, it follows patterns. You use these tools in different scenarios. So, um, you know, maybe in the beginning of a blog post, if you are an author that people admire, a brand people admire, or an influencer of types, you might want to use a creative story to build trust in the beginning. All right. So, uh, you know, we can put a little background uh, before the article, like, you know, my personal story of leaving coffee to start drinking the healthier alternative of action. Um, and, you know, Tim Harris, I appreciate him. He also loves matcha. So uh, I'll roll with that. And we're going to put that right here above. Uh, I also might want to give Jasper a little context to this and pull in some of the benefits. So here we are. 
I'm going to generate, these are anecdotes, right? So we want to build trust with our audience, um, but we can also use these as just, you know, inspiration. Uh, and, and I find these are just really solid ways to open up. I'll be honest with you. I used to be addicted to coffee. I loved the taste of it and the caffeine gave me an energy boost that I couldn't resist. But over time, I sort of noticed that coffee was making me feel jittery and acidic. My stomach was always upset after drinking it and I was getting my heartburn often. So one day I decided to give matcha a try instead. Let me tell you, I was in love after the first sip, has this smooth, mellow flavor and contains antioxidants. Y'all, this is awesome. Okay. So we can just roll with this. You know what? I'm already Googling matcha. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. I will tell you, it's, uh, it's delightful any time of the day. I personally love matcha. All right. So you can see here, I'm like really building the rough draft of my article. Um, and, you know, at this point, we're giving Jasper a lot of context about the article. The more that we're building it, it's starting to recognize there's a pattern here and it's read articles it knows a blog post are so uh we're really starting to build this out we're already 432 words in now we just did the first half of this training on surfer and now we have a good grasp on what jasper does how do we combine them and this is real really where the power happens right inside now we have surfer built in where if you have a surfer uh, account, log in there. And now that you've toggled it on in your settings, it brings it up. Oh, let's turn on super mode. All right. So check this out. What we're going to do is uh, if we already have our keyword research done um, in surfer, we'll find these clusters here, but uh, I haven't done that yet. So, um, Okay, you know, I'm going to ask the man himself who knows this tool better than anybody else. Michael, 45 seconds and you will get it. So just type uh, benefits of matcha here in keywords and hit create content editor and that's all you need. Um, and on the side note, shift enter and do multiple, right? Oh, this is great. Actually do it. Uh, uh, matcha no, sure, as directions. Yeah, put, put matcha as coffee alternative. It will bring... You know, you guys love, like con copywriters love questions, don't they? Um, and these questions help understand the topic. These questions uh, direct them. And uh, when we have more keywords to start with, we will find more people also ask questions in Google you can use to inspire yourself. So hit the create content editor now, as we have two uh, keywords, we will be able to pull maybe eight people also ask questions uh so it will be decent uh amount um would you uh, click cool, <laughs> so cool. you I, I was just sure if you wanted me to do how, how many would you recommend and keyword clusters here Should I it do can one take one up to 20. <laughs> it can take up to 20 but it's fine to start with at least a few but um make sure to to use the relevant terms and by the way uh, if you use the research, uh, the, the content planner tool, and if you create these uh, these tiles into the editors, you will find them here on the list, and they all have multi-keyword analysis already done. So you don't have to think about what else should I use uh, for this article. So start with the planner, create some queries, and then uh, use this uh, tool. Oh, we already have 40. Nice. Yeah, that out. Right. So we know that we need to, um, you know, get between 35 and 82 head headings. And this is H1s, 2s, and 3s. So as you, let's just say, like, highlight this and make it an H3, notice that that just went up. Right. And as we see green tea, um, you know, uh, why matcha is the best green tea. Um, got got a tip for you. See, you got why matcha is the best. If you change it into why matcha tea is the best green tea, you will also you see the matcha tea is just uh, orange. It turned orange. So you got another keyword. You can even change matcha tea powder. Uh, uh, so oh, oh no, it it won't work. 
it won't work because matcha powder is a separate keyword. Uh, so you need uh, another uh, use of matcha powder uh, to, to take it. But um, yeah, th this way basically you inspire yourself and, and turn them green to rise the score. Yeah, so you know, you could be like how to make uh, matcha green tea. And then uh, I'm gonna do a Jasper command. Write a paragraph about how to make matcha green tea. The future is now, old man. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what it's doing is it's actually pulling in information from above. So here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to show you some tricks here. So if you're already a Jasper user, then you're going to figure this out. Um, use three asterisks. So what we came to find is Jasper is a great um, follower of directions, but it's also a great follower of patterns. And if these patterns are being asked to be followed, it's really hard to shift him out of that pattern onto a new topic to pivot. So what we do is we put these three asterisks where we don't want Jasper to read any more above and really just think about um, the question that we're asking it. Now, also, whenever Jasper writes, it's reading all of this here. So if I found that that wasn't what I wanted, I'm going to go ahead and delete this stuff. And maybe I still want to be keyword specific, but for now, I'm not going to. Keeping this blank will give Jasper a fresh mind and stop reading above here. So now I can ask this question again, how to make matcha green tea. Hot bowl, a whisk and matcha powder. Pour it over in a bowl. Wow, check that out. How fast is that? So I bet you now in uh, surfer mode here, we're now at 50. Why? Because hot water. Uh, and so I see here uh, matcha whisk uh, using a, the matcha Enjoy whisk. It. Exactly. Now we start, you know, naturally integrating the keywords as we're building the article out. So as you can see, like this is how you would move much faster. You can ask Jasper to do a lot of stuff. So let's say here, I want to delete that. And I'm going to ask it to do another command. These commands, um, I want you to think that you're just commanding the AI directly. There's no template here. It's not following anything. You're literally giving instructions to your assistant. Let me go ahead and do this again. All right. You can do. I think my keyboard just died. There we go. Write a paragraph about the healthy alternative. Actually, what we're going to do is uh, write an intro blog paragraph about the healthy alternative to matcha. Fantastic. Here are 10 reasons to start drinking it today. All right, and I would just delete this. I like to keep it just so I remember. Um, and sometimes I'll go like this. I'll put a little uh, here just so I can see what were my commands. And I'll actually get to this in a second because there's a very powerful feature called recipes where people build structures uh, for commands and uh, you can move dramatically faster. I'll show you that here in a second. Um, so check that out. Great intro paragraph. And some of you all might be thinking, uh, where do you, oh and actually some people are asking uh how do you do and activate the voice function so this is actually a uh something that your computer already has if you go into the settings preferences you can add a on voice dictation on your computer and give it a hotkey personally i like to set the hotkey as control the bottom left hand um key and so if i do that twice in a row, row. Watch this. Hey, Jasper, good to meet you. He says, meet you in the coffee shop. 
All right. And so there's a, I want you to really have fun and play around here. Um, you know, you could do things like write a funny scene about the first time you drank matcha. It's true. It can be bitter, but not the good ones. Hmm. What have I got myself into? Uh, now, let's say that I didn't really like that story. Um, I want to re refresh it. Let me go ahead and rephrase what this is. And it's going to spin the content to be original and creative. When it came to the test, I was certainly not paired for it the first time I ever tried it. Notice that it's moving sentences around. Um, you know, it's, it's changing synonyms out. Um, you know, and let's say I didn't like that. Maybe that's when I would use power mode and I would go into very specific examples. What I like about these is they're trained on great examples. Unlike if you talk directly to the AI here, it's open free form. These are the best of the best examples fed to Jasper. So, uh, for example, for headlines, um, you know, we asked Jasper, we, we fed it like all of our highest converting ad creative headlines, our highest open rates for emails, et cetera. And so it really found a good pattern there. You're not going to get that function within here. And so that's kind of, I want you to sway between free form and structured form. Um, we can talk about ridiculous marketing ideas here. Uh, let's ask Jasper, what is a hilarious idea to sell matcha? Uh, and what I like about doing these is it gives us a lot of options. I can ask it to do 10 variations here. Um, and so we be like, uh, customers leave earth and they're sent to the planet of matcha. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's kind of ridiculous, but obviously this is the point is it's ridiculous marketing ideas, especially design chopsticks, uh, something on a level of a weapon or something. So it's just, it, we also like to have fun and, and do uh, stuff here. So it's not all about SEO, right? Now, uh, back on topic, so I want you to think now, maybe in your mind, if you wanted to go and look up, you know, our headline, who's already ranking for it. Here we are. And, uh, you know, if they're crushing it, shared benefits. How about for late weight loss? We haven't talked about that at all. I'm going to go ahead and just get two paragraphs, throw this in here. Um, how Acha helps with weight loss. So I'm just giving you a little context here and um, let's see all these. So what I can do is just ask it to rephrase and then it will now generate a original paragraph and I'll replace that text. This Come is- Come on, go <laughs> easy. <laughs> um, and here, let's say that I didn't like this, or maybe I had my own article that I wanted to freshen up and I wanted tone of voice and some other features here. I can go to the content improver, which by the way is the number one used template out of all 50. So I throw in some old content of mine and then, you know, put in my own tone of voice. And let's say that, uh, I'm, you know, using a, a tone of voice, uh, you use John Rambo. What's that? John Rambo, please do. <laughs> I don't know what will happen. John Rambo. Of course. Like that? I, I watched the first blood recently. No, Rambo. The first blood guy, you know, with guns. Oh, yeah. Sylvester Stallone, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I All right, let's see what Rambo movie. says about uh, matcha here. Maybe that's what gets him so fired up before his workouts. All right, so. All right, so it's pulling in some actual pieces of. So if you ever need like uh, sources or um, facts and things like that, that Jasper isn't calling from yet, then you want to go and add those in the context above. Um, 
you know, so it, it's guided there. See here, this is original content. Now check this out. Okay, cool. Now you might be thinking like, all right, uh, you know, there, this could be malplay, uh, bad use. I don't want you to just publish it right away. Obviously you need to add your own tone of voice, your own stories, your own facts, cite them if, you know, not just for your own, um, you know, to, to cover your butt, but also because it's great for building SEO qualities. Michael, can you maybe share insights on uh, the value of backlinking and, and sourcing, citing uh, experts and other authoritative blog posts? Absolutely. Yeah, it can it can be a positive signal. Uh, some folks consider it as something really important when you link out to trustworthy sources. Um, but in terms of building authority, um, I feel like something else uh, hooked me in what you said is uh, that you can quote folks. You can quote people that are recognizable, that are well, entities, because in terms of the entities, we've got like places, things, all the all the elements uh, that Google can understand and name. And it can also be people. And if you quote within your article about matcha, you will quote, uh, I don't know, someone who is really well known in health industry uh, that matcha is good. You will receive a strong signal that uh means that you are really uh you know you're saying the truth uh so uh building these signals is really important just like building backlinks and just like linking out to trustworthy sources and i will sell you uh, a trick that whenever you link to google related services either uh, YouTube or, or some blogging platforms that are associated with Google to Google My Business uh, pages uh, or, or stuff that Google owns, you will also be uh, in, in, in benefit of that because they love to promote their own resources. Absolutely. Yeah. Thanks for sharing that. Um, and so also one thing that we built in, we know that having original content and citing sources is very important to you. It's also very important to Google. And here we are trying to be, you know, the best writing tool paired with the best SEO tool. It's very important that we obviously do a little plagiarism check, right? And so that's also why we teamed up with the very best plagiarism tool to make sure that you are in the clear. And so we teamed up with Copyscape and that is, um, you know, the, the number one source for making sure that outstanding you... move. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, we've actually negotiated a deal where uh, when you buy through us, you get 20% more credits. So uh, we weren't able to include this totally in the tool, unfortunately, while we did um, make a request uh, in, in, in negotiations here. Uh, but buy at a, uh, at a discount and get 20% more credits. So let's go ahead and just scan the document. Remember at this point, we have rephrased a lot of the content, right? So as it's writing, it's writing original content. It's not sorting, sourcing any one specific source. And we see here, zero plagiarism was found. All right. And so I want you to understand why this is. Uh, because you have to know how Jasper works. How does Jasper write? And so here's a little fun quiz for you all. Does Jasper write a paragraph at a time? Does it generate full paragraphs? Does it generate sentences? Does it generate words? Or does it generate characters? Well, the real answer, uh, as you come to find out, is every single word is printed one at a time so that it is, and they all have basically a, um, I mean, there's a bunch of ranking factors that go into how it chooses the word that it writes, but it's read so much of the internet. It knows what words are likely to come up next. And so 
let's say I, I fill in a sentence here. Hey guys, I'm about to go to the, everybody in the audience, all 400 of you all just thought of my next word. And there's probably a whole bunch of, bunch of different words that you all thought of. Some of those might've been repeated by more people than others. There's a probability that you thought, I'm going to go to the grocery store. I'm going to go home. I'm going to go to work. I'm going to go to the gym, whatever, right? So um, it predicts the most likely words one at a time. And so it's not citing anybody. It's citing, it's referencing everything that's read above the last 3,000 characters from wherever the cursor is. So it has context of the situation. And then it's going to reference um, what you put here into the brief. And so this is context of the background information, facts, who you are, all of that. All right. So to give maybe one last example here is I was doing a, um, an email outreach and I was asking Jasper uh, to write an email for a friend of mine who's a real estate agent. And so it's going to, I think I was on this one, right? I gave Jasper um, background here. And then I gave it merge tags, real estate agent equals Dave season equals new year's market demand is up. Inventory is down called action equals hop on a call. And then I gave it a command. All right. So I'm going to delete what it just wrote. And this is just so you get an example of how you can use all of this combined together. So this is now an email, maybe talking about your matcha brand or whatever, but following patterns, recognizing what a really good example is. See here, I put the merge tags into it, but it wants to write something very specific. Write an email from Dave to James about the update on the Austin market uh, real estate and ask for a call this week. Submit this as an inquiry and Jasper's thinking, it's reading all of this and bam, I, there you go. I see a great potential of that particular feature in SEO, especially in link building and doing outreach uh, to various websites, owners claiming for a link. It will be incredibly effective in doing something special, unique, crazy, sometimes funny. Uh, it will, those subject lines, boom. I, I'm wondering how many of these outreach link builders use it already. If they Absolutely. don't, well, they have to. Yeah, think about your link building efforts, um, you know, and you, let's say you have a team of writers or you've trained virtual assistants to go and do this for you. You don't want to necessarily copy and paste because the situation changes all the time. And that's when we create these things called recipes. And so what if you could repeat this over kind of like how you would a code file um, or you would a template, but you doesn't, doesn't you don't want it to be exactly the same, but you want it as training for everybody to like duplicate the same standard operating procedure. Well, that's when we get recipes. So if you go to community.jasper.ai, then you'll find a bunch of recipes created by us and the community. And these are formulas. So I'm going to bring up Dave's here. So this is a, a series of commands where we've asked Jasper to follow how to write the perfect blog post, according to Dave, right? And maybe we have some experts in the crowd that have also contributed recipes from their own learnings. And so check this out. I'm gonna go ahead and run it. It duplicates it. And then, you know, we can, uh, go and I'm going to bring up my 10 benefits of matcha and uh, let's see what was one of that background. Let's see here. I think it was is it, is it your clipboard history. <laughs> yeah, I do, man. What kind of, what kind <laughs> of magic is this? <laughs> uh, yeah, I have all my, all my copied uh, things right here. This is called app copy clip nice yeah anyway um so it's going to read this and the topic i'm going to replace that merch tag and now here bam send that command write a brief for the 10 benefits of matcha i'm going to delete that 
Uh, let's see. All right, here we go. Mosh is becoming a quick alternative. So now I'm building my article. So I'm just showing you different ways to go about the same thing. And this is what's beautiful about the community is you figured out all this stuff. Uh, write blog article title ideas um, for the above. Let's say I already have this, right? I'm, I'm kind of jumping ahead. All right, so I'm asking it now. Here's the 10 benefits of matcha. All right. I already like my other one, so I can now put that there. So I have the brief. Here's headline. Write an introduction. All right. Uh, it keeps going, right? So there we go. Let's just it. There's some more things you need to know. Now we're going to write a an outline. You see how fast we're getting when we know the commands. Sweet. Now all of these are H2s. Right about. And what I'm going to do here is remember this little trick, three asteroids, because I don't want to try and pull in this information. I want to go straight into uh, what is matcha. He's pulling my header, so let me get rid of that. All right, and now I like doing this again. Of course, you might want to expand on that and. Um, you would look at Surfer for this. Bring it here as we go along. All right. Uh, let me say right about. Uh, why to drink matcha. Sweet. If I let's say I wanted a shorter one, I could just go like this and I say, this, "This is crazy." Sorry, sorry for interrupting. I'm just gonna uh, <laughs> go ahead a little faster and click the word. On pros. So you see how much shorter that is, right? What it's gonna do when I just click compose is it's just reading above and carrying on with itself rather than following a command, which is what these are. So click compose. All right, so we know we need to go make sure that all of this is factually correct. So make sure that you do cite your sources um, when it comes to things that you did not come up with, like facts on credibility. But if it's your own um, just general information or if it's historical of that, of course, you don't have to fact check it. Um, this is a creative writing tool. It helps you move much faster. It uh, you know will help you build up the amount of words you need, and you know there's many different ways to use it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I think everybody kind of gets it at this point. We've been going for an hour and thirty. So um, let me go ahead and maybe answer any questions for you all now, uh, and you all can carry on with your day writing blog posts and ranking on Google. Um, Michael, do you have any questions as I start to read through these? Mm, I don't think so. I'm really amazed with how fast it is, really. Yeah. Uh, I can see so many so many applications. Well, we're giving it away uh, to everybody here on today's call, 10,000 free words. So if you want to go ahead and try it out, um, you know, risk-free, just go to free trial, jasper.ai slash free trial. Um, and then let's see here. So... Yeah, you can create a recipe um, yourself, and then you can post it for your team, for the public. You can add team members to it and make it repeatable. That's one of the you know real beauties of us, and nobody else in the market has that. So you're able to systemize your workflow 
um, maybe you have a proprietary way about doing these things. And imagine and this, you know, so, uh, there are tons of efforts put by SEOs to create location pages. Uh, let's say uh, they want to take over the plumber's niche, right? And they will write an article about plumber in this city, this city, this city, and count the cities, you know, it's countless. Uh, and imagine the recipe that will allow them to create such unique descriptions of plumbers in any city. It's crazy. I mean, this is the way to do it, not manually anymore. Uh, wow. Absolutely. You know, and uh, I'm no local SEO expert here, but if there is an agency owner or a freelancer that is really good at this, here's an opportunity for you to get your name out there by writing, creating a recipe off of a formula you've created for like the ultimate local SEO landing page for your service. Um, and then give that to the community. Uh, but of course your name will be attached and uh, you'll get your name out there. And then we also allow for you to have on your own, uh, you can attach a video to the top on how you uh, use your article here, right? So uh, it's a bit of a credibility builder. Um, and uh, yeah, so very, very helpful tool here. Um, and then let's see, as we hop off here, so the case studies, uh, I was planning on attaching three different customer stories on how they use it in their workflow. Uh, what ended up happening is it's just uploading way too long. I think it's something here in Restream. So what I'm going to do is uh, using the magic of editing, uh, chop it here at the end and attach those for the replay. Later today, I'll post that replay and email it to everybody that has registered here. So uh, you'll see those appended at the and they're each about 10 minutes long. So um, in a few minutes, uh, you can watch those. All right. And then let's see here. All right. Well, it looks like we've covered all of uh, the big time questions. Thank you all for joining us live here today. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and get your uh, free Jasper account. And if you haven't started with Surfer, go to jasper.ai slash surfer dash deal, and you'll be able to basically get one month free, $1, get committed, start using it and see for yourself, then attach the tool, two tools together and you can crush content. From what I've learned from our customers, once you get good at this, roughly you can crank out an article that has a score of 75 or higher in about two to three hours. Uh, if you get really good, you can do about a thousand words an hour. Um, and then uh, one of the guys said that he was able to write and publish that article within seven days. It was in by Google and he was on the first page. So literally you can get tangible results this week. If you replay this training, follow along, get your toes wet and um, get at it. Any last uh, thoughts here, Michael? Yeah, just, just. Try it out. I mean, uh, you can make 200 bucks for 1,000 words. And if you can make it an hour, the math is on your end, really. Yeah. Yeah, very true. All right, y'all. Well, thank you for attending us live. And if you're watching the replay, I'll see you on the inside.